Good day everyone! Welcome to my virtual classroom. I am Annabel Tapalia and I will be your teacher for Mathematics 6, Quarter 1, Week 5. Today, we will be learning about finding the product of decimal numbers. In many ways, multiplying decimals is the same with multiplying whole numbers. We will be reviewing the rules for multiplying decimals in this lesson. If you know how to multiply whole numbers, it is very easy for you to multiply decimals. The first lesson that we are going to discuss is multiplying decimals by a whole number. Okay, let's try this example. The Tapalia family is going to Pampanga. Mrs. Tapalia has realized that their car will use 98 liters of gasoline on the round trip. If the cost of gasoline is 51 pesos and 45 centavos per liter, how much will the Tapalia family spend on gasoline? So class, what are we going to do to solve the problem? Anybody? Very good! So you need to multiply to find the total cost of the gas used. But look! One of the numbers you are going to multiply by has a decimal point in it. Do you know how to do that? So let's go back with our problem. We know that the gasoline costs 51 pesos and 45 centavos per liter and Mrs. Tapalia will use 98 liters. So in this case, we're going to multiply 98 by 51 in 45 hundredths. How many digits are to the right of the decimal point? In our problem, 51 and 45 hundredths has two digits after the decimal point. 98 is a whole number and therefore has no decimal point in it. So the numbers we're multiplying have a total of two digits after their decimal point. So what is 51 in 45 hundredths times 98? Remember in multiplying decimals, it's just like multiplying whole number, as if there is no decimal point. Let's start with the 8 in the 1's place and multiply 8 by 5,145. So 8 times 5 equals 40. Bring down 0, carry 4. Then 8 times 4 equals 32, plus 4 equals 36. Bring down 6, carry 3. 8 times 1 is 8, plus 3 is 11. Bring down 1, carry 1. And 8 times 5 is 40 plus 1 is 41. The first partial product is 41,160. Then let's go to the next multiplier, which is 9. Multiply the 9 in the tenth place by 5,145. 9 times 5 equals 45. Bring down 5, carry 4. 9 times 4 equals 36. Plus 4 equals 40. Bring down 0, carry 4. 9 times 1 equals 9, plus 4 equals 13. Bring down 3, carry 1. And 9 times 5 equals 45, plus 1 equals 46. And the second partial product is 46,305. And then, add the two partial products to get the final product which is the answer to our word problem. Bring down 0, and then 6 plus 5 equals 11. Bring down 1, carry 1. 1 plus 0 equals 1, plus 1 equals 2. Then, 1 plus 3 equals 4. Then, 4 plus 6 equals 10. Bring down 0, carry 1. And, 4 plus 1 equals 5. Since 51 and 45 hundredths and 98 have a total of two decimal places, we will need two of the product's digit behind the decimal point. So instead of 504,210, the final product is actually 5,042.10. Therefore, the Tapalia family will spend a total of 5,042 pesos and 10 centavos on gasoline during their road trip. As you can see, multiplying a decimal by a whole number 
will result to a product with the same number of decimal places as to the given decimal. So class, how do we multiply decimals by a whole number? Okay, first, multiply as in whole numbers. Next, count the number of decimal places in both factors. And then last, the number of decimal places in the product is the number of decimal places in the factors. Okay, so please bring out your pen and paper for your activity. I'll give you 5 minutes to finish your work, so timer starts now.
all for today's lesson. Have a lovely day everyone. Bye-bye.